let me freestyle about something real quick. So, you know, I got a lot of people hitting me up talking about, like, you know, everything about getting stuff for free, uh, house joint resolution 192, you know, all of this stuff. I need y'all to really comprehend something, right? So, if we heard that we got this land stolen from us, right? That's like the, the history classes be saying that these Europeans came over here and stole the land from us as if it would have been that simple, as if they're that powerful. That's not how it went. That's not how it goes, okay? This is how things really are. You're free. You're born free, right? The only thing that can be taken from you is what you offer to somebody. So it's not the same thing as something being stolen. This is what's happening. Our kind, our people, whatever you want to call us, colored people, black people, Indians, natives, aboriginal, indigenous people, whatever you want to say, we are born free. I mean, we don't owe anybody anything. When we're born in this place, we're 100% sovereign. Nobody can put us in debt. Nobody can make us, no, nobody can take anything from us or deprive us from anything that we're entitled to, okay? The whole thing is psychological. They're, they've been tricking us over these generations to give them the stuff that we have, okay? So I'll give you an example, right? We have children, okay? The child is 100% sovereign, which means free, which means the highest level of power. Nobody can tell you what to do when you're sovereign. Nobody can hold you prisoner. Nobody can tell you they owe you anything, etc. Everything that, that comes, whether I'm talking about financial or physical, is some sort of imprisonment. They cannot take your freedom from you. They have to trick you into giving it to them. So these people are giving their children away, okay? So then they're selling a the child into slavery via the birth certificate, the Social Security Administration, etc. Then, because we don't know any better, we meaning the, the past generations, because, you know, we all waking up, especially if you're on this channel. So shout out to you, because you know it's, it's something that we got to get to the bottom of, so that's good. But we got to make sure that we're doing our part, so we got to stop selling our kids into this stuff, so that they don't have to clean up the mess. Like me, for example, I got sold into it as a child. Of course, I didn't consent to any of it, but all of these different doctrines and stuff are being forced on us. Um, I'm sure you heard the term indoctrination before. So basically that just means that you're pushing a, a way of thinking onto somebody to the point in which they just accept it without questioning it anymore. So they've been indoctrinating us in all type of stuff. So you think that it makes sense to circumcise your child when they're first born even though you never really question what is going on when you circumcise somebody and what the pros and cons are to it, what's the history of it or anything like that. You might have had your parents um, put you in in the system thinking that you have to get somebody else's validation for the, the child's ex existence. So they'll tell you something like, hey, you can't uh, go to school and get an education unless you got a social security number. It's not even true. I don't even know what, what people, like where people get this stuff from because you can literally call a school and just ask them, be like, hey, do you accept children who don't have social security numbers? I haven't called one yet that said, no, we don't accept children who don't have social security numbers. First of all, that's prejudice. And secondly, what does the social security number have to do with somebody's ability to learn? It doesn't even make sense. But it's all of these different indoctr indoctrinations that they've been forcing on us to bend the way that we think. So we think that we have to do things that we don't even have to do. If there's something you don't want to do, you don't have to do it. It don't matter what it is. You don't have to go to work. You don't have to earn money. You don't have to pay taxes. You don't have to do anything. But if you get tricked into these contracts, if you, I mean, it's called a contract. It starts with con. You know what a con is? It means you got tricked. So if you get tricked into signing a mortgage or you get tricked into getting a driver's license, not even knowing that you had the right to travel the whole time freely without anybody telling you what you can and can't do. You can drive as fast as you want. You can travel wherever you want to go, but you got to have the right documentation to prove to these people, these highwaymen or whatever you want to call these people who are working for that system. You got to have the proper documentation to prove to them, hey, you can't touch this. That, that's the thing. You got to have this stuff in order so that you can show them who you are. As soon as they see the documentation, they'll be like, oh, 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 free, you're free to go because they are going to identify your royalty. But if you got sold into this and you don't do your status correction, 
you don't look like royalty. You get treated like a peasant, which means you get to be told what to do. And if you got that soft mentality, if you got that slave mentality, you're just going to comply and go along with it. You don't have to do any of the stuff that you don't want to do, especially if you can't afford it. So it's all type of stuff that people have been thinking that they had to do, like registering your car. Bro, you don't have to register your car? Whose vehicle is it? Like, I'm, I'm confused. Like, how, how they say it's your car, but then you got to pay somebody else in order for you to move it around. It, 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 don't, it just don't make sense. So I really need y'all to start questioning stuff. Question why things are the way that they are. But believe me when I say there is a way out and there are many ways out. That's what we're making videos about. But I need you to be willing to go deep down the rabbit hole and do this research because you ain't going to figure this all out in one day. It's way too deep and it's a huge jigsaw puzzle. And that's why we got to work together. Some people send me messages. They ask me questions. Some of the stuff I know a little bit about, but I don't know enough about it. I'm like, shoot, you tell me. You do some research, you tell me. But don't come to me asking me questions like I got all the answers because I don't. And none of us do. And if somebody trying to sell it to you like they got all the answers, don't trust them. Okay? <laughs> For real. We got to work together and put all this stuff together. We combine in our minds. This is a collective consciousness type of thing. So let's support each other. And for the love of God, if you're going to ask somebody for their time, even though we know that this uh, paper money isn't actually worth anything, we could redeem it for something. So don't expect to be entitled to somebody's time. So at least give them a love offering or something if you're going to ask them a whole bunch of questions, take up their time, try to get on the phone with them, whether it's me or anybody else. If you see that somebody is willing to give you what you want, but you're not even willing to pay for it, that says something about your mentality. Because... If all you got to do is hand somebody some money and you can get what you want, that's easy. It's way easier than actually doing the deep digging and doing all the research and learning stuff the hard way. Bro, I throw money at anybody if they willing to give me what I want. So I don't, I don't know why somebody would be tripping. Not, not saying somebody was tripping on me about this, but I just heard people in the past. Like, they, like I've heard many of people, like especially in the comments of YouTube videos, they'll complain like, oh man, this person has this sovereign information and they don't want to give it out without selling it and stuff like that it's like bro if you got something of value you're going to want to get paid for it too so don't feel so entitled bro we done spent hours and hours i know i done spent about a decade studying this stuff trying to get to the bottom of it and i ain't got no freaking teachers i ain't got no coaches nobody that i know in real life knows about this stuff but me and the people that i done taught so that being said whenever you come at me don't expect me to spend a whole lot of time on you because it's thousands of people who got questions so I'm willing to help. I'm willing to post these videos. Leave a comment. I'll probably get to it. All right? I love y'all.